Welcome back. This is the fourth and final video for week eight. Uh, in this video, what I'd like to do is just go over what's a, what's required for this week because things are changing. And so I want to make sure that everybody's clear. Um, so I always store the videos in multimedia under this first tab. Uh, I'd like you to take a look at these five items here, kind of summarize what you find. Some of you had some questions regarding the EMR from last week, and I think that these two uh, resources will help you. For the binder assignment, I'm going to bring that over. Give me one second. What the heck? Why won't it let me? Okay, there we go. So it pretty much is the same. So we've got the four demonstration videos. So there really is no lecture lecture video. I'm going to hold off on that. I want to get everybody comfortable with the uh, weekly projects for the first two weeks. And then I'll start bringing back some guest lectures. There are the five articles and websites I just referred to. So summarize, summarize. And then in addition to that, do your reflection. I'd like to know how things are going. Uh, a little, I'll be submitting also, I'll be creating and, and posting a uh, review video for the executive summary assignment and for the midterm. I, I read a lot of your comments from last week's assignment. Yeah, last, well, this week's assignment, the one you just turned in. And a lot of you had some concerns regarding the way some of the questions were set up. And so I'm going to investigate that and I will award points where I feel that it it was indeed, you know, an unfair question that it wasn't clarified. So I have no problem with doing that. And I appreciate those of you who have brought that to my attention. So again, let's go to the other assignment because that's probably what you're most uh, concerned about. Um, before I do that, though, um, we've got the week eight quiz. It's based on the lectures last week on work comp. It's back to the old format. It's multiple choice. Some of you are probably really happy about that. And it's again, the 15 minutes. So grab your notes from last week. Uh, and I, I tried to pull out things that I felt were important moving forward. And I just want to scroll up really quickly again that make sure you look at everything here. Again, uh, the assistance document is very important. It should help you out quite a bit. And then I've got these old videos that are sort of generalized and explain some of the steps. You know, should you need some additional insight that you don't feel that I've given you in these demonstration videos? Because I try to keep it short. And th so real important, and the reason I, I brought this up is uh, we've got two links, two videos, one short, one's longer on how to make professional tables in MS Excel. Um, and that's what, that's what we're going to be doing now. So I'm going to bring over, here we go. So this is what you're going to be submitting now. In addition to what we just went over and the quiz, you're going to be submitting weekly updates. I used to have students upload the, um, the Excel document, but that was just a mess because I have to download everything. There, was, there, were, there were a lot of issues, let's just put it that way. So I also think it's important that you start getting used to or get some practice with being able to bring things from Excel into a Word document because that's what you're going to be doing at the end. All right, so here's the assignment. So we need to put the descriptive com, uh, statistics and the comments here. And we need to, oh, I don't want those to be, get rid of that. Oh, I'm just going to Z, Control Z, get it out of here. There we go. There. Now I got, I can make some room. Make some room. Okay. So the descriptive stats. So I'm going to bring up my document. Here we go. So I've got my descriptive tabs, my, my distribution. I've labeled it. I'll probably change this because it's descriptive and it's distribution now. But I just saved them the same thing. Again, each week, save as a different document title so that you can go back should something become corrupted. So here's what I'd like to do. I'm going to highlight, see, I already made a table here. Um, you could also copy it over and work on it in Word. So control copy, that's control C. See, it's all lit up. I'm gonna go to my assignment and I could hit just paste, but there are all kinds of different ways you can do it. I'd like to do it as a photo. Um, this isn't too bad. I think I could probably work with this. It's clean enough. There we go. Just made it a little bit cleaner. I should probably change the language here. So this is uh, basically a benefit subtotal. Because the benefit is medical. The benefit is indemnity. The benefit is the legal expense. And then here's the total. And then... Uh, percent of total paid. Uh oh, so look, look at that kind of, I, I want to try to make this as uniform as possible. Um, 
and I think I can space these out too, should I want to. Just try to, I mean, the important is you kind of play around with it. That's not too bad, that looks pretty good. Uh, average paid per claim. There we go. Uh, median paid per claim. Oh, per should be lowercase. If I get rid of the S, it's going to bring it back. It did. Um, so I'm going to go zero dollar entries. Entries. Number of. Count of. Average with zero dollar claims removed. Hmm. I'm going to leave. Ah, uh, shoot. I don't like that. Average with. Let's see what happens. Average zero dollar claims removed. I'm going to try to open this up a little bit more. And I probably should have just done this when I was working in Excel. But when you bring it over, sometimes it looks different. Uh, let's see. Uh, the maximum. Maximum uh, amount recorded. The uh, percent. Percent. The max of total paid and the percent of zero dollar claims. Percent of zero dollar claims in sub total. There we go. All right, so now I've got, this is pretty, now what I need to do is I need to give it a title. I'm going to call it table one. Oh, I don't want to use that. I like to keep my fonts um, the same. I like to use Arial because it's a sans serif. A little bit easier to read. Table one, descriptive statistics, statistics, statistics. Covering claims from June 1, 2019 to September 1, 2022. Sometimes what we do is we bold it and make it smaller. And I would like to bring it up closer. I'm going to try to get rid of the, uh, the insert line. So if I go paragraph... There's probably something to be removed. Otherwise, it's single. There we go. Stuck it up right there. Good. Now, what I want to do is put in my comments. Now, I'd already started it, and I don't want to give. I don't want to tell you what to put. Um, I want you to figure that out because you need to be making, you know, insightful comments. So I'm going to put in comments comments about results I'm not, you, you guys can finish this so that's the objective another comment about these findings and you actually should start working on the paper now because you know you can you can provide the first few pages because you're going to be providing the reader uh, with a look at you know what is workers compensation what are what's a claim report things like that especially the grad students. What's the next thing I said? Okay, 625 claims over this period. What else did I say? I, I defined the, the uh, fiscal year. That's also important because it's important to how the data analysis is done. We also had some other information. Uh, let's go over here. We had the open and closed cases. 
Uh, let's see, can we make this look better? You know, I'll bring this over. I'll bring it over as is, copy, and I'll manipulate it in Word so you can see what that's like. Paste. So if I click on the table to highlight it, you go up to the top middle here and there's table design and layout. It's similar, but not the same as uh, Excel. And it depends on the version too. Um, I don't want to get too fancy with this. Is there anything that's not too fancy? Uh, I need to actually add a line, don't I? Because this is non-descriptive. Can I add a line? Let's see, I clicked on that. I want to go insert a row above. So this is claim status. Claim status. This is number of claims. And this is percent of the total. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to make sure that everything is. If you want to adjust the table, if you go to table properties, I can make sure. And I always do it by cell. I can center it. That looks better, doesn't it? And if you want to center the table, you highlight the table and you can put it in the center. All right, so let's now go back to the table design. Um, gosh, there's so many weird ones. What's this one do? It's kind of cool, right? And then what you want to do is, this is table two. Two. Um, count and percent of open versus versus closed claims in loss oh, loss run data set n equals 625 so got more information here let's see what other things should we include in these comments here oops or who they are, the company is responsible for this amount. Responsible. Um, something else. Uh, the average uh, benefit paid per claim was 3,928. And the uh, maximum, and the maximum benefit paid was I, I hope you're kind of see what I'm doing is I'm reporting things that kind of think what would management want to know what was the most expensive claim what you know what was the average amount okay and I think that's a pretty good rundown there this this could be improved a little bit I don't want that to be bold there we go it's a little bit better it's purple and it's purplish <laughs> I don't know. so this is the type of thing I want, I'd like to see. I'd like you to get creative on what you say. You expand on this. I'm just, it's it's about presentation. I This I would kind of lay out the whole thing of objectives, uh, the descriptive statistics were conducted, because that's going to be the first step of your um, methods. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Complete the distribution, which we did do. I'm going to go to the next tab. This will be a little bit easier because I kind of already built it and I already have the figure. So let's make sure I get this highlighted. I'm going to copy it. Sometimes the additional text and inserted figures don't transfer over. So let's see what happens when we do it. Sometimes we have to do like a, a paste special. Get down here, I'm going to go right click. There are no paste options, so I'll just hit Control V to paste. Hoping it brings, ugh. Okay, do you see what I mean? Can I change it? No, it's kind of, it's not letting me. Can I do a picture format and change anything? Uh, it's not letting me, I don't think. All right, so I'm going to do a control Z to get out of there and go back to my Excel. And let's see. Can I make this smaller? It's at an 11. That looked a lot bigger. I'm going to bring it down to a 10. And I'm also going to turn it into Arial for the font. Come on. Won't it let me? There it goes. Ten Arial. I'll highlight this one. Eight. 
Arial 10. I should probably go smaller than that, but what is this thing up here? Come on. Might not let me change it. I should though. Arial 10. I was going to bring this down to like 12 if it would let me. There, it finally did. Alright, first I want to make sure that... There we go. That. Get down to 12. Alright. I'm going to hit save. Because that looks better. And I'm going to... I might change the look a little bit. So it's a little better defined. See what kind of choices they give me. And I can, you know, you can do color changes. I was kind of working with purples, wasn't I? I wonder what happened if I was to do that. That's kind of cool. Let's see if there's something better. I don't really like that. That's interesting. But I need to get rid of the... Uh, i got to get rid of the uh, labels. Let's shrink it down. That's not too bad after my complete tantrum, and I apologize. So what did we find out here? And it, <laughs> I can't believe I yelled. All right. So first of all, I need to get rid of the spacing. Back to single, figure two. Or is this figure one? Oh, I already have figure one there. Okay, so I don't have to put that in. If you didn't put in a title, you could put it down below. So the arrows are gone. Have you noticed that? So I may have to reinsert them. Go under shapes and downward arrow. The median's way over here. Right? And can that be moved? No, it's because it's a picture. Uh, go back to this. Shape format, I should be able to fill it. Should I fill it with purple? Sure, why not? And then I'll copy paste and I'll bring this down to the 4,000. That's 45, that's 4,000. And paste, and I'll put this over here and point down at that. So for as messy as that was, oh, it cut off some, no, number of claims. So there's an axis missing. So. Let's see what happens when I drag this. I might have to reset my arrows. Uh, come on. So my computer, because I'm recording, is acting up. But it has basically everything here. And so what do, what do we find here? Uh, we find that um, you know the big one is that... Um, uh, 88.84% of all the claims, claims paid, you know, again, from June 1, 2019 to September 1, 2022, were less than or equal to the calculated average benefit paid. I think that's interesting, right? And that um, 11 claims were greater than $500,000 benefits paid, which, which is only 1.76% of all the claims. All right, there's one other thing we could do is figure out what the amount is in that right here. So I'm gonna show you that quick. That was the one thing I forgot to do and I just remembered it right now. Okay, so I already messed up this a little bit, but I'm gonna be playing with it. You can play with it too. So the most expensive claims, what did they equate to? Um, so there's 11 of them and the total amounts right here. So what I'm gonna do is do an equal sum and I'm gonna do the top 11. 
Wow. Wait, it's not sorted that way, is it? Ah. Nothing's going right for me right now. I need to sort from data, filter. I'm going to filter from high to low under total paid, largest to smallest. There we go. Now I can calculate it. So, so top 11 equals sum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Got to expand this out a little. So that's how much was paid out in those 11 claims. Probably have to get rid of the pennies, as I do. Now I'd like to know what percent of the total that is. So I go equal this amount divided by, and I have the total back on the first page, so I can go over to this page here, and click on total paid, hit return. And I gotta turn that into a percentage, if it lets me. There we go. So I'm gonna put that on uh, my sheet. 49, oh, I'm gonna have to write these down. Hold on, hold on. So the top 11 accounts for, it's 1.76% of all the claims, 1,218,953, which is 49.72% of the total paid. You don't think that's important? <laughs> that's really important. Um, let's see, 11 claims were greater than 50,000 paid, which is one of the claims, and represents uh, where did I write it down? 1, 218, 953, 953 of total benefits paid, which is also 49.7, is it 72% percent, percent of the total? So, based on this here, outliers need to be identified, identified, and, and studied due to their influence on the, um, on the claim, the average, the average amount of benefits paid. The difference between the average amount of benefits benefits paid, I'm going to say per claim and I'm going to add that per claim and the median benefits paid per claim is also due to the number of zero dollar claims in the data set, which we know to be n equals 185. It's right in the thing up there. 185, 29, 29.60%. The distribution of claims in this data set does not meet the assumption of normality. Therefore, therefore, uh, therefore, caution, caution should be should be applied in the calculation calculation of statistics and the reporting of results. There we go. What that means is, again, the average, is it really average? Well, not if 88.84% is below it. And if the median is only just under $300, but that's because there's so many $0 claims. So outliers draw the average away from it. The zero number of $0 claims draws the median down. And so therefore, these two what are considered, you know, statistics that we look at to kind of understand the data set, they're not accurate. 
they don't represent what you think they do. And so that's why we're going to study outliers. We're going to consider the, the analyses both with and without the outliers and with without the $0 claims, right? And with the $0 claims, we could also report that statistic of, uh, hold on, hold on, the, um, the $0 average. So when I remove the $0, the average jumps up to 5,571. I'm going to put that in there. Oops. First of all, I'm going to save my work. Then I'm going to add this, and then, oh, this went to 27 minutes because I sat there for five minutes yelling at people. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Where did I talk about the $0 things? Uh, in fact, when... When zero dollar zero dollar claims are are removed, the average paid per claim jumps. I'm gonna say increases. Increases to five thousand five hundred seventy one. There we go. And the final question: Draft the first paragraph of your technical report. So, in, in essence, I'm going to want to talk about or combine some of the things that I'm saying here. Let, you know, let the reader know right away, um, and I had said this before, don't say um, a, uh, from June 1, 2019 to uh, September, September 1, 2022, a data set was analyzed. Because that means you were analyzing it for that amount of time. What you want to say is a study of a student, a study of loss run, a study of workers' compensation, workers compensation claim data was was performed at the request request of management to determine the best and the most opportunistic. I, I, I'm making stuff up as I go right now, just you know. Tuna invest into the safety program. That's not a real word. A loss run data set containing 625 claims represent and representing what was it two million something something blah 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 uh, uh, in benefits paid And then I'm going to let you keep going with that. I, I could keep going, but we're already at 30 minutes, as longer than I wanted. And I'm a little frustrated with how this is acting and how the people around me in my house right now were just loud just when I did the recording today. So if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, that's bugging me. Oh, my gosh. I just know there's, there's a bunch of programs doing subroutines and stuff like that. That's a little bit better. Okay. So this is what I expect you to turn in along with additional writing. Don't just use what I wrote. I'm just trying to give it as an example, but this is what I want it to look like every week. You'll be submitting tables and figures, and I want them with titles, and I want explanations, and I want comments about the results. You know, I was just kind of scratching the surface here, but you know, you can add a little bit more insight to what's going on here. You can provide the breakdown of medical indemnity and paid LAE of the total paid. You could do all those things, you know, just make some interesting insights. And I think that my other videos may help with that too. I'm sorry about the distractions, so on and so forth. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, and let me know when you want to start having um, live office hours virtually so I can add, answer questions and do additional uh, demonstrations. Don't wait. It's, it's better to ask me and we'll pick some dates for it, days of the week and time. So I'll send it up for everybody. I'm going to go shut up now and have a beer. Thanks, bye.